Hello everyone, welcome to today's Modex 3D technical firm. My name is Marcus Su, account manager of Modex 3D EMEA team. Today we are going to talk about the resin transfer molding, the RTM wizard, which is a new function in our uh, Modex 3D R16 version. In Modex 3D R16, we have a new RTM wizard. Here you can see the interface. So basically it's designed for the step-by-step -step. import model, mesh, uh, the orientation, material, boundary condition, then export this RTM wizard. The RTM wizard supports two types of analysis. So the first simple case is uh, the multi-layer. So you can assign a different layer for the different uh, orientation. And uh, the other one, the case 2, which is you can import yeah, the, the calculation result from Elastina. And uh, today we are going to yeah, demonstrate the uh, case 1, which is uh, a multi layer case. Yeah, this is the geometry of the sample case 1. We can see, yeah, it is a shell geometry. And uh, our purpose is to create this uh, layer by layer for the along the thickness region. The thickness of each layer is 0.33 millimeter. So uh, there are three orientation. First one layer, then continue four there, and the other one there. And uh, the approximately thickness is around two millimeters. So back to the model. First, we are going to generate the surface mesh of this uh, geometry. So uh, to give it a node seating, do you want to reset initial mesh size? Yes. So two millimeter, just like the thickness. And uh, then create surface mesh. Okay, pure triangle. Okay, the surface mesh is done. Okay, now we can see the, the purple one is our surface mesh element. And uh, yeah, we are going to hide the geometry. Okay, so now we will offset this surface mesh for the first layer. But before that, yeah, since they, they will they will do the offset together, I will first uh, join this join those mesh together. And uh, then here is the uh, this one offset surface mesh. The left click. Yeah. So this one, you can adjust the offset distance, and uh, yeah, here is the default distance is one, but uh, we want the first layer is zero point thirty three. And uh, also because the the positive offset is toward the the surface normal, so if we want the, to go the inside of this surface, we need to input the negative zero point thirty three. Okay. Okay. So something like this, and uh, press enter. Okay, now we have these uh, two mesh, and uh, we are going to create the one layer solid mesh between them. 
so we will use this one uh, yeah also left click create prison has up from two surface mesh so we need to select the first mesh and uh, this one yep and uh, the corresponding point one two and three they they have to be on the same element so you will see this red green and the blue blue point and uh, the second mesh here okay I will switch to this transparent mode so select the corresponding point this red green and blue so the the program will according to this information to create this uh, solid mesh between them their count I need one there here okay okay solid mesh is done yeah you can see this green layer is the side mesh between two surface mesh okay so the rest I think is just follow the same steps so this one use uh, offset surface mesh the, because this time we need a folder is uh, negative 1.32 okay so yes yeah. it's a preview of this distance okay enter then we will do this corresponding uh, mesh again so here to create prison has from two surface mesh So first one, uh, this one is my surface mesh, one, two, and three. Okay, and it's the second one, you have to do the consistent point, this one, green, and the blue. Okay. And this time I need four layers. Okay, so another solid mesh is done. Yeah, this folder solid mesh. Then just do this again with offset surface mesh. And uh, this time also negative 0 0.33. okay so we have to do again um, create prison has up from two surface mesh the first one but I need the uh, yeah, transparent model one two three and the second mesh one two three okay Okay, so yeah, basically the the model is is done. Then we are going to start the RTM wizard. Okay, this one. Yep. Okay, just to move this surface mesh together. Okay, so um, this one is the RTM wizard. 
and the first step you can see you can start from the geometry solid mesh or from Aristina and also here uh, provide you some uh, check tools okay and uh, but now we we have a ready uh, solid mesh so we will go to next step yeah this this one is also to do the meshing which yeah, we just done the process the purpose of RTM visa is to make this workflow easier so the orientation you can assign here first we add this one please select add ply solid mesh okay so I will assign this one okay and press enter yeah, here you can see the ply has a attribute of cavity and uh, the best vector okay so what is this because there is not a uh, easy to assign the uh, ply orientation on the curvature surface so the function here is help you to assign the, the ply vector on according to the surface so you can have a base surface base vector and uh, based on this vector you can assign your R1, R2 and this can be yeah, transferred to the surface curvature geometry so back to this model I need to assign yeah, this one and uh, yeah because I just select the first layer and uh, it will ask me yeah the base base surface mesh or it can assign automatically and uh, okay so here is a generate an automatically base surface so I will use uh, this because this one is my my best vector so it depends on this vector this is zero this is 90 degree and uh, yeah so please select one line or straight point to define zero degree direction okay, so this one so this is one there I will do for the other two See, maybe 45 and uh, minus 45 okay and for this one press enter when done okay enter and also the best surface mesh you can choose the the base surface mesh if you want or the program can define automatically okay so yeah here you can see it's 45 degree and uh, yeah, the minus 45 degree and also the last one okay, I will add the other one zero 45 okay for this one press enter the yeah again we use the automatically base okay so yeah this is how you can assign this uh, your R1 R2 for the ply and the next one uh, material you can define for the different material for example I have three okay this is material one two three and uh, yeah some color can make them yeah, easy to, yeah, to understand which is which okay 
and also the uh, boundary condition it supports the mail entrance okay. so you can select the set by this one have to be uh, surface mesh I need to Uh, this one to explode okay okay I will do it again so to select surface mesh hold uh, shift to multi select this one and the press enter when done okay And also, if I want the some venting boundary condition, I can add by. Okay, I will generate. Um, use this one to check free surface mesh. You can find it also in the uh, tool, the Sally tool. Check free surface. There is one close boundary surface of select study mesh, and uh, there's an unmatched surface will be generated. Yeah, because we need uh, this surface mesh, we can assign the venting. Yeah. For maybe here and also the other side. is true okay press enter okay now we have uh, two boundary condition for mail entrance and uh, venting and the uh, next one the last step is to export the model and uh, yes before export don't forget you open the the part style image and uh, also the other uh, the necessary boundary condition the best surface okay make sure you e enable them and uh, you can start the export and you can see yeah, the RTM wizard is doing the apply orientation projection so according the according to your uh, base vector you will project this this vector to your part okay so after the projection finished we need to select a position to save our mesh file the MFV okay and also the Parting direction, so Y is okay. Okay, so the solid mesh is ex export successfully. This is all about the today's Modex 3D technical form. If you would like to see more about this, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope to see you next time bye bye